Greetings. My name is Nancy Wolf. I am a graduate student in the MSN program at CSUSB. The title of my thesis is The Effect of Simulated Clinical Interpersonal Skills Practice on Nursing Students' Communication Skills. Communication is a core competency for nursing. The BSN Essentials provide the framework for nursing curriculum. Essential 6 mandates communication and collaboration among health care professionals are critical to delivering high quality and safe patient care. Nursing education curricula often limit the nursing student's implementation of nurse to physician communication skills. As a result, students struggle due to lack of self-confidence and a lack of opportunities to practice communication skills. Nursing students cannot accept physicians' orders, yet effective nurse-to-physician communication skills is an expectation of the new graduate nurse. Imagine a new graduate placing a 3 a.m. phone call to a physician regarding a change in the patient's condition. The result of this communication interaction may be a positive or negative experience for any of the involved parties, the nurse, the physician, or the patient. A research study begins with an extensive review of the literature. Navigation through the electronic library is essential. Several research studies with various nursing student samples support the significant positive effects of simulated clinical interpersonal skills practice and conversational analysis on nursing students' communication skills. Development of effective communication skills require both theory and application. A standardized communication procedure launches a predictable interaction among members of the healthcare team resulting in effective communication. Effective communication interaction includes the ability to question, clarify, and collaborate. According to Bandora's social cognitive theory, the sources of expectations of self-efficacy include performance accomplishments, vicarious experiences, verbal persuasion, and physiological states. This concept provides framework to study behavioral changes achieved by different modes of interventions. Benner's work, From Novice to Expert, also provides nursing theory to support this study. Patricia Benner provides essential understanding of how knowledge and skills are acquired and applied to nursing practice. For example, beginners have no experience with situations in which they are expected to perform. They learn context-free rules to apply universally. Providing students with a communication tool will empower them to communicate with members of the healthcare team in a concise and organized fashion. Both theories can be empirically tested. This quasi-experimental pre-test, post-test pilot study with second-year nursing students will evaluate the impact of simulated clinical interpersonal skills practice and conversational analysis on the quality of clinical communication. In 1999, the Institute of Medicine published the landmark report to Air is Human, Building a Safer Healthcare System. The report concluded that tens of thousands of Americans die each year because of preventable mistakes in health care. This number is the equivalent of a jumbo jet full of people crashing every day with no survivors. Inadequate communication between health care providers is consistently the main root cause of 60% of sentinel events. According to the Institute of Medicine, each handoff of a patient information to another professional provides the opportunity for a breakdown in communication that could result in significant harm to the patient. This study explores the effect of simulated clinical interpersonal skills practice on nursing students' interpersonal communication skills. 
compared to routine communication education. Nursing students who participate in a simulated interpersonal skills practice and can conversational analysis workshop will have significantly more effective handoff communication skills when communicating with student peers, will have significantly increased general self-efficacy, and there will be a significant positive relationship between general self-efficacy and handoff communication skills. The Institutional Review Board reviews and approves all research involving human participants. The informed consent must include specific elements such as those listed here. The target population for this study was second year BSN students at two campuses of CSU SB. This study evaluated two methods of teaching handoff communication. The control group received a didactic lecture and a general discussion about SBAR during class. The intervention group received the same lecture, but also practiced communication skills using the SBAR tool during a workshop. Both groups recorded an SBAR handoff. The audio recordings of the SBAR handoff were evaluated using the Crichton Simulation Evaluation Instrument to determine the effect of the clinical interpersonal skills practice session on the nursing students' communication skills. This part of my research study is still in progress. Results of my findings will be available on the CSUSB Coyote Nurse Blackboard site. A copy of my thesis will be available in the CSUSB library. Here is a list of my references. Thank you.